thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a pumpkin recipe with a little bit of a twist on it. It's not just your typical plain pumpkin recipe. It's got some brown sugar in it, so it makes it taste so sweet and so good. You guys are gonna love this recipe. If you're looking for something to make for Thanksgiving or just for the fall time to get in the fall mood, then this is the perfect recipe for you. If you guys wanna watch and see how I made these pumpkin brown sugar cupcakes, then please keep watching. So first up to my stand mixer, I'm just going to be adding in 3 fourths cups of grapeseed oil to my bowl, along with 1 and a half cups of light brown sugar and also a half a cup of granulated sugar. And I'm just going to be mixing those until combined. And once those are all combined, I'm going to be adding in my eggs one at a time. up I'm gonna be working on my dry ingredients first of all look how cute these tablespoon measurement thingies are I'm obsessed with them so I'm starting off with two cups of all-purpose flour and then I'm just going to be adding in one tablespoon of baking powder along with two teaspoons of cinnamon a half teaspoon of nutmeg and a half teaspoon of ginger and I'm just going to be whisking that all together until it's all incorporated with each other and then I'm going to start adding that into my wet ingredients, just a little bit at a time because you don't want that dry ingredients to be flying all over your kitchen. And then as you can see here, I forgot an ingredient. I'm just adding in an eighth teaspoon of cloves to my dry ingredients and I'm glad I caught that because that is actually a big part of a pumpkin recipe. So glad I caught myself. So once I've combined all of this into my wet ingredients, you just want to mix that together until it's all combined. And then I'm going to go ahead and start adding my pumpkin in. I'm adding two cups of pumpkin puree or one whole can of pumpkin puree. And you want to make sure this isn't the pumpkin pie mix. You want to make sure it's actual 100% puree. It makes a difference. And then as you can see, I am just filling my cupcake pan with some liner. And then I'm just going to pop that into the oven at 350 degrees for about 18 to 22 minutes. In the meantime, we can start our fun and different icing. I'm just going to be adding a third cup of graham cracker crumbs along with a half a cup of brown sugar. And lastly, a fourth cup of melted butter. And I'm just going to be mixing this together with my fork. It's not going to be smooth or anything. You just want to get it all incorporated. And into my stand mixer, I'm adding eight ounces of cream cheese or one stick along with one stick of salted butter. And I'm going to be mixing these together until those two are completely combined. You want to make sure these are light and fluffy before adding anything else. Then next up, you can add a teaspoon of vanilla to your cream cheese and butter mixture along with one tablespoon of cinnamon. And make sure those are all mixed together nicely. And then next up, I'm going to be adding my powdered sugar, and I'm just going to be adding two cups of powdered sugar to this recipe. And you just wanna make sure that you do one cup at a time, so again, your dry ingredients aren't going everywhere. And then lastly, you're gonna add in that graham cracker mixture that we started off with, and this is really gonna make the icing, it's gonna make it have some texture and some crunch to it. Instead of just being a soft and creamy cream cheese, it's gonna be so different and so tasty. You're gonna actually taste that brown sugar and definitely taste those graham cracker bits. I love it. And then I'm just piping a big swirl on top with my star tip. And that is pretty much all there is to these cupcakes. You can sprinkle some cinnamon on top if you want. You can even add a little piece of graham cracker to the top if you want. I just decided to keep these pretty simple because the flavor and the actual cupcake itself has so much to it. I didn't want to add too, too much more because these are already so different and so unique. I think you guys are going to love them. Thank you for watching this video and I really hope that you recreate these pumpkin brown sugar cupcakes. I hope you make them for Thanksgiving and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving wherever you are. 
Thanks again for watching my video and stopping by. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. All the ingredients will be in the description box down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!